Hello everyone, Teacher Paul here and today we are going to be looking at Lego gears. Specifically, we are going to be talking about gear ratios and how we can change the torque of our mechanisms by changing the gearing. What is torque? You can think of torque as the strength of your gear mechanisms. Torque is a measurement of turning force. So to measure the torque of our mechanisms today, I have my trusty weighing scales, and we are going to be seeing how much force our Lego lift arm is able to push down on the weighing scales with. First of all, we are going to test using just our Lego motor on its own. When I turn on the mechanism, we will see how much force can it exert on the weighing scales. Let's give it a go. So on its own, the Lego motor is able to apply about 250 grams of force to the weighing scales. Not a huge amount, but we can certainly make that higher. Let's try now to change the gearing of our mechanism to make it faster and see what happens. I'm going to move my motor back a little bit and we're going to put the motor here and coming out of the motor I'm going to use just a simple three long axle and on that axle I'm going to place a 40 tooth gear. Now I will take another axle and I am going to put my lift arm on the end of it like this because that's what we want to push down and I'm going to take an eight tooth gear and on the back of course we're going to need a bushing to hold it in place. So now we have increased the speed of our mechanism. When our motor turns one circle the lift arm is going to turn five circles because the big gear has 40 teeth and the small gear has eight teeth. Let's see what happens now on the weighing scales when I turn on the motor. When I turn on the motor the other way. Before we had 250 grams of force. Now it is only able to apply 36 grams of force. So you can see it has dropped by a massive amount, more than 20%. Uh, it's, it's lost a lot of strength there just by speeding it up that one time. If that's true about speeding it up, what do you think will happen when we slow it down? To test that, it's very simple. Let's take out our small gear and our big gear. Now I'm going to place the small gear onto our motor like so and my big gear now is going to be driving the lift arm. So now we are going to see if we have a difference in the amount of force on the weighing scales. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, it's very strong. It was stronger than me. Okay, let's try again. Three, two, one. So look at that. Now we are exerting about 550 grams of force onto the weighing scales. So we have doubled the strength of our mechanism. In fact, if I hold it more carefully, I'm able to get it up to about 630 grams of force. Awesome. Let me very carefully turn this off. Oi, oi. There we go. This is important and you guys will know why if you've ever cycled a bike. On bicycles, we can change the gear ratio. When you go to climb a hill, you will change the gear ratio to make it easier for you to push. But of course, when it is easier, it will be slower. That is always the inverse relationship between speed and strength when it comes to mechanisms. We can make this much, much stronger by slowing it down even further. Shall we give it a go? Why not? Our 
gear ratio has been reduced three times. When the motor turns five times, this one will turn one time, five to one. But this one needs to turn five times for this one to turn one time. So now coming from the motor, it's actually 125 turns to turn this one time. But then this one has to turn five times to turn this one one time. So five times 125 is 625. When the motor turns 625 times, then our output gear will turn one time. Let's see how that looks in action. Oh, no, the other way. Three, two, one. Holding it in place. Wow. The force is so strong, it's breaking the Lego, so we might need to make it a bit stronger. I'm pushing down to hold it into position, and we are up to 991,000 grams. We got over one kilo, and whoa! Did you see that? The force was so strong that my lift arm literally just flew away. How cool is that? Can you guys see that axle there? It is twisted beyond recognition. Now, if we were able to make it super strong by making it super slow, we've increased the torque from way back down at 250 grams all the way up to over 1000 grams, over one kg. What's going to happen if we try to reverse that process. So now I'm going to swap the input and the output. The input is our motor and the output is our lift arm. Okay, when the motor turns one time, the input turns one circle, my output it's going to turn 525 times. And you can see it does not have very much force at all. It is turned on, but it's not even enough to turn the gears. Let me try and take that out. If I take the lift arm off, it can turn no problem. But as soon as I turn on the, put on the lift arm, doesn't even have enough force to turn on the lift arm. So it is only applying, that's it, trying to lift the lift arm. You can see it says zero grams. If I turn it trying to push down, it's only applying two grams of force. It is so light that I can, I can just use my little finger to move it back. So that's a little introduction to how gear ratios can change the torque the strength of your Lego mechanisms. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions about what I should do next, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.